Everybody, it's Jorick. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for your continued support. Today I want to talk about when you may be using your credit card or when you may need cash in Portugal. Talked to a couple of clients recently that are looking to come for scouting trips to get a feel for where they may want to settle in Portugal. And the question came up, so I thought it would make for a good video. So credit cards. Most establishments, major retailers are all going to take them. Tourist attractions throughout the country will use them. Hotels, transportation, rental car companies, all of those places are going to use credit cards. Most restaurants, but not all restaurants, most that are larger restaurants will accept a card. I will say when you're looking to make a booking or reservation at a restaurant, if they have a website, or a Facebook page, you may want to go online and just see, or Instagram, if they have any social media, see if they accept credit cards. If not, when you're contacting them, you may want to ask, or if it's just you're walking into the restaurant and you're looking to use your credit card or debit card, make sure that they accept that because you don't want to have the meal and then all of a sudden it's cash only. But the majority of places that you're going to visit in Portugal big city, small city are going to use credit cards. I will say as you get into smaller towns and villages, as well as I'll say less touristy parts of Lisbon, Porto and the Algarve, you may need more cash. So for example, smaller restaurants called Tosca's or snack bars. We have a couple in our area that are cash only, but there are several that will take a card. So just something to be mindful of. Something about credit cards as well. American Express. This is not just a Portugal thing. This is a Europe thing. Those of you that carry American Express, I would highly recommend making sure that's not your only credit card when coming to Portugal. Make sure that you have a MasterCard or Visa because it seems like 99.9% .9 of the places that we've been take one or the other. In fact, I would say 100% of the places take MasterCard or Visa but not as many places take American Express. So some of you that may be looking to use that card may have issues when you're looking to go to uh, restaurants, particularly maybe some smaller restaurants as opposed to big retail, no problem. Um, but smaller restaurants, you may have a problem using American Express. Also with credit cards, if you're looking to just go into what we call mini mercados, these little markets that are just about the size of a bedroom or a kitchen area, you just need water and a bag of chips or you just need something small. Often those places, as well as some of these snack bars and pastelarias, like little pastry places or small cafes that are doing espresso and coffee, will have a five euro minimum for you to be able to use a card for the transaction. So it is something to keep in mind. Mini mercados, smaller restaurants and cafes may have, and most likely they'll have a sign. Generally, they'll have a sign saying you need five euro minimum to be able to use a card. Otherwise, you need cash. What well, brings me to the, the next point. When do you need cash or when should you have it? When going to smaller restaurants, cafes, when you're getting out from the city of Lisbon and Porto, when you're working more in the, the residential areas, it's more likely that you may want cash as well as smaller towns and villages. Cash will still be king. So having euros, that will be very important. Also, just in general, and this is as you're traveling, not just Portugal, but around the world, it's sometimes worth asking when you're having a meal, you, they may say, do you take cash or credit card? You may want to look around or sometimes the server will tell you the machines are down. That's something that's happened to us in Portugal, within our travels, Italy and other places. They may come to you and say, okay, um, even though the sign on the door, the website says we take Visa and MasterCard, today, for some reason, the machines aren't working, so it's cash only. I will say this throughout Portugal when that's happened, because it's happened several times in Lisbon, the Algarve, and when we've traveled, there hasn't been any issue, and the server or the cashier, as you're walking into the place, will tell you that, so that you don't, again, 
spend time having a meal and then afterwards trying to run around looking for an ATM uh, to be able to get cash. So I will say in Portugal, they're really good about telling you if for some reason um, the machines are not working, you can get that uh, paid in cash or you can choose to go someplace else for your meal. So that's not something you got to worry about. But since this came up as a question, I thought I'd just give you some useful information. Hopefully this short video will help you. Some of it is com commonsensical, but as we travel extensively throughout Europe and Portugal, it is something to know that you just can't use a credit card everywhere. Sometimes it's good to have cash. Last point on this, it's always good to have cash in major cities and transportation like Lisbon and Porto, train stations, bus stations, ferry terminals. So for example, Cais de Sodre, which is a major metro stop, it is a ferry terminal and a train station, kind of all of those are in one big kind of complex. You have to pay to use the restroom. So it's always good to have some loose change with you in case you have to pay to use one of the restrooms along the way in Portugal. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video and enjoy your travels.